Alrighty, what's going on you guys? K1 GMM Steve here in Vermont. We're just going to do a push a hopefully a very speedy expedited stream I'm talking to John at LC a little while ago and we were wondering about the manual non notch filter function on the Apaches on Thetis and I'm assuming who knows I can't remember if it's the same on MRXPS on the old version of the software or not couldn't tell you uh thetis 2.8.11 issued last october 20th 2020 and yo john so we're going to get right into it here all right we jump over to the spectrum what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for see if we can find some qrm here oh no Looking for, oh, that looks like maybe some stations on top of other stations. Oh, yeah, there's some carnage going on right there. So let's click on that, get the headphones on. I'll step you through how to make this work. A manual notch in Thetis. This was news to me. Okay. There we go. Okay, as you as you can hear, we got a decent amount of QRM right there, overlapping into the passband. Okay. So I'm going to mute, bring the audio way down in theta so you don't have to struggle to hear me. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to expand. Uh, you can expand this a little bit. Uh, check your TX bandwidth, or your RX bandwidth, I'm sorry, I'm running at 2.9K, uh, generally DX. Uh, usually I run a little wider than that. So let's say you've got somebody in the passband here, right? What you want to do is you want to turn on the manual notch fi filter, uh, or the, this is the multi-tracking notch filter, all right? Um, not sure if this, well, we'll leave this off for now. So... I think this has to be on, if I remember correctly. So go ahead and turn this on, the manual notch filter. Now, all you have to do is click this button and see this yellow line that popped up on the pan adapter? Well, if you zero beat that with your, with your mouse, with your cursor, and you see it go green, you can right click on this well, first of all, you need to drag it. So let's drag it to where it needs to be. So expand your window out a little bit. So you can left click, drag it to expand it, and you can put your mouse in the center of it and drag it to where it needs to be. So I'm going to stick it right on the top edge of the passband here. Now, if you right click on it, you can, you can use this slider right here to expand it out. So let's expand this out. And as you can see, it wiped it out. So, oh, may have to drag it a little bit. Uh, what you want to do is you want to drag this. You can make it even wider if you need to. By, uh... grabbing the edge of it. They're pretty much, pretty much knocked it out. 
now, if you want to add another one, let's say you're working a contest. Let's say you're on the WPX or you're, you're working some very busy event, event or the band is really crowded. You can add as many of these as you want. Just click this button again. This, uh, it has a little plus sign, plus manual notch filter, multi or multi-tracking manual notch filter. And you can also expand this by putting the, hovering the cursor over the screen line. Wait till it turns green and then roll the cursor to, away from you and it will, it will widen the bandwidth of that notch. It'll widen the notch out and then you can grab it and you can drag it, drag it to wherever you want to go. So if you want to delete this, right? So there's a station back in there. You want to delete this, just right click and delete and it will delete that notch. So let me bring the volume up a little bit. Okay. So you can <laughs> now you can also choose presets right here if you want to. This is 25 hertz. Way too narrow. 200 hertz so you can grab the slider. So there you go, and you can add as many of them as you want to get rid of it. Just hit the uh, right click and hit delete. Zoom back out. See if we can find another one here. And yes, we are going to do a music trivia at the end. Please you your call again. Okay, so. Okay. Anyway, thank you for your information. Seventy three. Enjoy the act. Thank you for the contact. Okay, so we'll wait for that other station to come back. So let's say you want to notch something out on the bottom side. So just hit the button. It'll apply a notch. Right click on the line, and you can drag this and expand this out. And then you can go ahead and left click on it and drag it wherever you need it to be. Um, so you can kind of scoot it in and out of the pass band if you need to. Delete. A whiskey Bravo 4, Charlie Washington, a stronger signal in Spain. Hello, good evening. To find out loss at 10 over 9 is thank you, sir. Uh, be careful you don't. <laughs> So that's basically it. That's basically it. That's how you can, and you can apply as many notches as you want, it looks like, on Thetis. So let's check this out, see what's going on here. A very good day. You're, you're walking on this excellent signal. Uh, I'll be okay. A compliment for your 7610 as well, a nice signal in Spain. Anyway, thank you for the short contact. 73, uh, enjoy the act. Thank you, Mr. Hanks. Take care.
Bye bye. Thank you. And uh, you are set at 20 meters. Hello, DX. Okay, so again, all you got to do, hit the MNF. And if you want it on the upper side of the pass band, drag it over there first. You can scroll the mouse wheel. Or you can right click. It's easier to right click and just grab the slider. Um, once once it's expanded, then you can really get your you can get the mouse on it. One one drawback I have found. The volume back up here. Uh, good evening to you. My name is Frank. Fox uh, Radio Alpha November 10th. The one thing I haven't figured out yet, though, is it behaves very odd when I'm dragging it. And I'm not sure why that is. Hello, enjoy the X. Hello, 20, hello, the X, and 20 meters. I'm from the American flight, Hotel Juliet and Victoria. Kilo Delta 9, Delta, Canada, Whiskey, Strong Sino, Spain. So I think the way this is working, uh, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Let's delete this. If you drag it too far out of the pass band, it will actually, you notice that, uh, well, this uh, the filter looks like it's still correct. So I think what happens is if you drag it completely out of the pass band, it will actually shift the pass band and the frequency as well. So you have to be kind of careful, but that's it in a nutshell. So here is, and if you want to get rid of it, again, uh, just right click and delete, and you can add as many as you like. So let's say you've got, let's say you've got on the band, right? You've got birdies. You got a couple birdies. See this birdie right here? See that right there? You can get rid of that. Um, and you can leave it there. So let's say you want to get rid of that. You can just apply a notch filter right there. Move it over to the birdie. And you can also vary the bandwidth. I know this is redundant. But I figured I'd show it to you multiple times, so it'll ingrain in your soul. In your soul. Uh, quick check in, and then we're going to get on to music trivia, and then I'm going to rip the plug out. That's all this is. It's just a, a manual notch filter. How to make it work? It's actually easier than you think it is, but it can be tedious if your uh, pan adapter is not zoomed to where it needs to be. Of course, you've got the zoom buttons over here to the right. You know, you can zoom in, you can just do, this is probably the best way to do it. So let's say you're just running at normal, which I run my normal if I'm chasing, so I can keep going across the band, just boom, 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 and I see what's going on. So let's say I get to a frequency and I can't, uh, I need to zoom in rapidly. You know, let's see, see what's going on down here. Let's click. And I need to zoom in quick. These buttons right here are great. Now I can apply a notch. Drag this where I need it to be. Right click. Grab the slider. So right click and delete. So there you go, folks. Music trivia. Here we go. I don't know how many people are in here. I'm going to spank it in here. What I need is the name of the song and the artist that performed it. And first, name of the song and the artist that performed it. And this is older. This is older. I'll give you a clue. It's back in the 70s. 
and it used to be a very popular song. So here we go. I'll paste it in the chat. We'll see how long it takes you guys to grab this. Here we go. Three, two, one. And if nobody gets it in a few seconds, I will put the second half of the verse in. And I'll wait for somebody to bag this. And uh, let me uh, let me kill the audio on the Anon. See how long it takes you guys to grab this. Somebody in the last stream I posted told me, they said, oh, what happened to the, said something about the, um, the music. So, music trivia. So I figured I'd, I'd do it. I get lazy, guys. Hey, Paul. Andy. Uh, okay, I think, John, oh, John's out of here. He's gone. I don't see anybody commenting on that. Um, second verse. Second half of the verse coming in now. Nobody gets it. It's a rocking tune, man. Here we go. There you go. Dean, you got it. Who did it? Who did it? Who's the artist? Who is the artist? One of my all-time favorite groups. Actually, guitar player and lead vocalist. Uh, I, li I like him. Really good guitar player. Fun to listen to. You got it, man. You get the crown. Ding, 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 ding. Dean's on it. There you go, buddy. All right. That is it. That's all I got. Uh, any questions for me? Anything you want me to comment on? I'll let it hang for, oh, 30 seconds. I don't see anything pop into the chat. I'm ripping the plug out of the wall. So I'll actually get the uh, rig back on as I'm waiting. I figured I'd give you guys a chance to ridicule me or ask me anything you want. And yes, you can ridicule me. I'm cool with that. Uh, audio and a very good signal. So by the way, I'm using here ICO, my C7600. Uh, 811H modified amplifier and about 800 watts into the dipole. Uh, so I think being near the water helps. Over. Oh, it certainly does, Bill. It certainly does. And I've got a very high water. Woo, look at those signals from stateside. I just flipped towards stateside. Holy mama. One, a couple of them took a huge jump. Who's this guy? Correct movies right now. Yeah, Maybe not July, KK6BS. Take it away, Bill. All right, we got a tracky on here. Ah, diggity, dog. Oh, man. I'm just playing with my little toys here. Kill for all. The 73, 88, and good luck. And QR. Novella, from 2 Radio, Neil in New Jersey. 5 and 7 here in southern Austria, okay? Uh, correction, Fred, correction, November uniform. Alrighty, folks. That's all she wrote. I'll catch you all later. Have fun. And, uh, I may be around. Maybe around later on. I think the, you guys let me know if the, if the streams are getting old, if everything's getting old. I, I try to, I try to stream if I'm operating, you know. Um, but if you guys aren't interested, I'll come up with something else. So, uh, don't be bashful. Get in there. Make some comments. What do you want to see? Uh, let me know in this stream as people watch it. Uh, just, uh, put in the comment sections. What do you, what do you want to see? Anything that you wanted, uh, you wanted me to, to show or cover or whatever, man. Um. I'll do it to the best of my ability. And you know how that is. We'll see you all later, 7-3. A1GMM. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And don't forget, anybody new watching this, uh, don't care if you like it. 
But if you want to be, no, and don't care if you subscribe, if you want to be notified of stuff coming up, hit the subscribe button. And I guess you still click the little bell icon. And then you'll be notified when an upcoming stream is, is about to happen. So, antenna builds. Well, I'm working. I got to get back to work, Dean, on um, a cobweb. I, I've got a messed up cobweb. <laughs> I really screwed it up. And I will be going. It's a homebrew. It's built on some fishing poles. And uh, I've got the transformer completely screwed. So uh, I'm doing it uh, using a 1 to 4 Guanella. Uh, okay, looks like OBS drop connection. So it looks like we're back. So the multi-band delta, the tri-band delta, what a disaster. Could not get it to work. What happened was, <clears throat> excuse me, when you adjust, I had, remember, I had the three delta loops and two inside of the, the big one, right? And um, didn't work. And I've tried this with quad loops before. And... What ends up happening is, I suspect, I don't know this for a fact, I had them all fed, remember, with individual matching stubs. So they were all directly matched, but they shared a common feed point with a 50 ohm coax. I did not try a relay, though I don't think a relay would have made any difference because I think what happens is that they basically, the smaller elements inside are Faraday caged by the larger element. You wouldn't think it would see it there, but I think the proximity of the wire to the other wires, because we all know, we've all read about fan dipoles. There is interaction no matter what you do, even with a fan dipole. So you take a loop, a dipole is only caged. It's not caged, you know what I'm saying? A fan dipole, it could be going out in all directions or they could be a vertical fan stacked one on top of each other. <clears throat> well, the problem with a loop is you put a loop inside of another loop inside of another loop, and I swear to God, it creates a Faraday cage effect. And I think the only way to get that to work is to stage each element outside. You see what I'm saying? So if you've got three loops, maybe it doesn't work, man. So what ended up happening was you'd tune one and get it bang on, and you go to the next one, start tuning it, and throw the other one out. It was a cluster. And fr my friend Paul, WAB, worked on it. He, he basically picked it all up and threw it in the storage bin. <laughs> He's a lot better with this stuff than I am. So um, I, cu I couldn't figure that out. The, uh, the cobweb's interesting. Um, it's all built. It's out on the end of the house. Uh, two problems I had with the cobweb. The matching transformer, I know that's the issue. That's the big issue. Uh, it's all messed up. I was using the wrong core. Uh, I got some 43. I think they're 43 mixed cores here. That came a couple weeks ago, and I've yet to get going on that project. So I got to... It's, it's up. But the problem is I used... Uh, I think it's a quarter inch. Quarter inch or three-eighths inch cutting board, right? So I painted it black... And the sun, it was when it was really hot, and the sun got it, it because of the black paint. You should see it, the freaking cutting board. And it's light. I guarantee you the thing weighs no more than maybe six pounds, the entire antenna. It's got 20, 17, 15, and 10 on there. And it's just all, the cutting board literally warped, and it's all just like hanging down. <laughs> it melted the cutting board. So two things got to happen. I got to uh, redo the, um, wow, look at all those spots on there. Uh, I've got to redo the base plate, which I'm just going to use three quarter inch plywood. Pff, I paint it, seal it as best I can. I still got plywood leaning up in the garage that I used for hubs on old Moxons and stuff. It's freaking 10 years old and it's not even warped. You know, you just got to paint it. So I'm going to use that. Mm. Three quarter inch, you ain't gonna break that. 
not in a bazillion years and it'll never rot as long as it's painted so i'm going to put that on there get that sorted and then get the matching transformer done and then we will see what happens because i've heard good things about them i'm going to try and run it about yeah 20 feet off the ground probably stick it up back where the old moxon used to be and i wanted something that i didn't have to turn i can just set it even though from what i understand they do have a bi bi-directional strength sort of like a dipole like off the sides of them um but it isn't much they're pretty much omnidirectional so uh, i figured it'd be a nice antenna because i don't have anything for 17 15 and 10. i've got a 10 uh 10 meter ground plane up that thing's a piece of crap and this thing supposedly eats a 10 meter of uh, pretty much any vertical um supposedly that's what i hear that's what i've read so uh that's it. See you guys later. Have a good evening, man. Maybe catch up with you later on. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, let's be careful out there, all right?